Dude's galley. Feel free to walk in and check that out if you want. Cereal and stuff. Uh, yeah, food. Not at meal times. I mean, not at different times. But you know, we get pretty much all this. This is the cadet mess. So all the mm -hmm. cadets eat here, and then all the licensed officers have another area that they they eat in. So That's cool. we got this up here, which helps me kind of see where you are and stuff. You're in the galley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Security cameras all over the boat. They always watch us. So. <clears throat> Where there are all the officers eat, and then um, we've got a fridge there. Um, if you're on the, the midnight to six watch, a lot of times you sleep through dinner, so they'll put extra food in that fridge. And then when you wake up at you know 10 o'clock at night, you can go get some food before you get a lot. These used to be two hospital rooms. You know, if you get sick or something, you can go mm -hmm. go in there. Um, but the way they did the cruise this year, you know, with the more they're trying to fit more people on board, so they renovated both of those rooms, and they've got it's just it's just normal rooms. Now. Gotcha. Um, this is a little exercise room. You know, just come in here and work out if you want. So that's, you know, we, we use this quite a bit, actually. I'm not sure. This is all freezer, of course. So we've got two storerooms. we got, like, dry food storage over here. And this is all, like, um, just supplies, like paper towels, toilet paper. Bed sheets, stuff like that. Uh, here, it's hard to kind of see, but that right there is the uh, that's the bow thruster, a big, big gray thing. Oh yeah. So that powers uh, powers the thruster. It's pretty loud too. It definitely, it definitely shakes the boat. Okay. Horse parts. It's it's very big for this size of boat. It's a, <laughs> a display very case large. for. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this used to be an old navy ship, <clears throat> okay. and so it used to be um, submarine patrol ship. Like everything here is like very soundproof. They don't want any vibrations or any sounds or anything. So like when this, you don't even have you know you're on a boat. Like you don't feel that you're moving. You don't rock very much. You don't hear the engine. It's, it's really nice. And so this used to be like a general store. This is this is the quietest boat you will ever be. That's your generator, I presume. That is the backup generator okay um, so yeah, this is your electrical Sunday. yep look at this yep. Nice. as strong as you can go yep yep and up here um you can you can really feel the bow rocking up here sometimes if we get you know a little bit of not necessarily heavy seas but you, you know four or five foot waves you can come up here and you'll uh -huh. bounce around a little bit the sound deadening yep At the beginning of all of our watches, we clean, like, we sanitize everything so we clean, like, every six hours. Wow. So everything, all the door handles. Um, this is the like, chief engineer's office, so engineering office. Another office. Oh, a little conference. Conference, conference so, slash. Yeah, can come in here and work. And there's some computers and stuff like that. This is uh, everybody does work in here, so we'll come in here and work on our C projects. So you know. Just repainted this deck. It's already dirty. But <laughs> bike storage. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of bikes. Eight life rafts. There's no life bullets on the ship, so it's all all life rafts. The FRB fast 
rescue boat. And so if you have man overboard or you need to put people on the dock to like work the and stuff. Are they uh, colored? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't see any colored links. Near alive, but that's probably because you're not at that colored. distance yet. Okay, so docking. Yep, so a lot of times um, the captain will stand out here and use these. We really don't use these as cadets. Usually we will stand in the pilot house and then you know, if we're docking on starboard side, for example, then the captain will come over here to the starboard side. Yep, these are all curtains, so you can pull these shut, and then at night when you're up here, if you have lights on back here, it doesn't affect your night vision when you're, when you're looking out when you go up here. So that's helpful. So okay. when you guys are on autopilot and something gets in your path, does it self-correct or does it alert? Um, <clears throat> really, we haven't, really haven't had that issue. Um, I suppose. draft about 12-ish feet, 12, yep. 13 feet. A lot of times when we're charting up here, we'll get our latitude and longitude off there. St. Mary's River, Lake Huron, St. Clair River, Lake Erie and the Detroit River, Lake Michigan, you know, so each of these This is kind of the captain's or the mate's personal radar. Mm -hmm. so this is this is a one that we would touch. This is his if he wants to chart chart out a route, um, anything like that. He can do that here. That is so that you can see the uh, magnetic heading. So up on top, there's a whole compass system. With and we're coming across Lake Superior. So here's like our trip in. So mm -hmm. every hour we do a. What's called a DR or a dead reckoning. All you guys are just keep you racing and then yep. clean up your. Yep. See, I mean, you can see there's all <clears> kinds of lines from previous yeah, years on here. Yep. Um, on this harbor chart, we really don't <clears> have to do a lot of a lot of drawing, but when we're out on the open lake, we we uh, DR our position every hour. These are the two motors. Um, so you have one. Everybody does a, uh, every like year tries to do a painting of some sort. So it's one of the, one of the years. They're all over the ship. Now for the cool part of the ship. <laughs> Diesel electric, we have four generators. Only one of them are online right now. Uh, propulsion is the DC. DC I see that 600 port. volt DC. Yeah. Huh. So we, we drop it down to 450 for some of the pumps and stuff, and then drop it down to 110 or 220 for some of the household. Yeah. 
Yeah, please step right down there. Cool. It's not too loud. All right. Especially if you're over, it's not that loud. <laughs> what? Control down here in case anything happens up in the power house. So they can still, you know, you got two, both your throttles here. Here's the shaft that goes right back, and then one on each side, of course. Um, more, more drawings back there. Doors back here. So right now, like we're headed, you know, the shafts are on either side of us. The brig. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Here's the steering gear room. So here's where the rudders are all connected. Um, so your main steering system here, your pumps, and then you've got you know, two rudders, one for each propeller. Um, yeah, everything just uh, switches. And then you can read up there, you know, you can see what degree it's at, of Ooh. course. Oh, I'm trying to think. These are all ballast tanks under here. And this is this is pretty much the turn of the ship. Right there, that ladder comes up. Onto the uh, onto the fan tail, and there's a little yellow escape scuttle back there, so you can kind of get an idea of where we are once we get back. 